everyone hope you're doing well so today I'll be making a very simple and easy recipe which requires two ingredients we'll just need oil and potatoes are you thinking about that yes so today I'll be making an easy and crispy homemade french fries all right so first of all get ready your pan add in the oil so the oil must be enough to cover the amount of potatoes you're gonna cook so on it on your medium heat so by the time you're done with the potatoes, the oil will be ready as well. Alright, so the second step is to get ready a pail of water. And best for it is to have a strainer as well, so that when you cut the potato slices, you can add into the water, so that the potato doesn't oxidize. Alright, so next step is to give your potatoes a quick wash. Always choose a potato with a high starch. Alright, so after washing it, next step is to peel the potatoes. Next step, I'm gonna start cutting it into slices. Alright, so get your potato, your knife, and water. I'm just going to cut one part of it down to even it out. So there will be uneven parts for this potato as well. I'm just going to use the nice parts. So right, depending on how thick you want the potato to be. So okay, so we'll cut it into chunks or slices if you want. So right, put it into the water, clear your chopping board. And then next, get your baking tray. Line it with paper towel or cloth. So I'm gonna strain out the potato and dry it before I deep fry it. So alright. So strain it. Strain it and make sure that it's as dry as it can before you add it on to the paper towel. Alright, add it in. So take more paper towel. Tie on the top, so even the potato out, it's easier for you to dry slice by slice. So alright, pet dry it. When it's done, transfer it to a plate. So that you don't have to rush later when you're deep frying it and preparing it for the drying paper. So right now, line with drying paper for the deep frying. So I will be deep frying the potatoes for two times. The first one is to make sure that the water is released from a potato and all the starch will be compacted together. Alright. So get your pan. So there's two ways for you to check whether the oil has reached the smoking point. One is to use a thermometer. Or second one, it's a method which everybody can use. Just take a piece of a potato and drop it in. So alright, most of the time when you hear the popping sound of the oil, it means that it's really hot enough. So alright, raise your heat to medium to high. Add it in. Alright, so the first time when I'm cooking it, I'm not going to brown it. I'm just going to let it cook slightly. Alright, so always make sure that the potato doesn't stick together by stirring it around. So this process will take around 1 to 2 minutes. Alright, so remove it from the heat. Put on the baking tray. Take out the potatoes. So strain it out. So spread it out evenly on the baking tray. Alright, next step is to boil the oil again. So remember when I tell you that when you add something into the pan, the temperature of the oil will decrease. 
So the first one is just to cook for one, two minutes. Make sure the oil is hot again, and then you add it back for three to four more minutes. All right, this time raise it to high heat. So now it's time to add it back into the pan again. So if you're gonna do more than one potato, make sure not to overcrowd the pan and separate it into different batches. All right, so make sure the potatoes doesn't stick to each other. All right, and it's done. So off the heat, take the baking tray once again, and strain out all the potato. It's time to put the potato, or I should say the french fries, into a plate which you like. So I'm just gonna give it a small bite. So you can hear the creeps. Mm. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me.